What's going on guys? This is ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to show you something really cool. Well, at least I think this is pretty cool. So here we have archive.org. There are tons of games that are archived and we can play them directly in our browser. The emulator used is MAME. We can change the controls on most of these games. I haven't been able to use a controller with these handheld games, but with the console section, I can set up an Xbox or a PS4 controller easily. There's also MS-DOS section, so if you want to get online while you're at work and play some Oregon Trail, you can head over here and do that. Now the first thing I want to show you is the handheld history section. When I was younger, I absolutely loved these Tiger Electronic games. I know a lot of them are crap, and if you play them today, they're even worse than they were back then. But this brings back a lot of memories, and I think it's pretty cool that we can play them in a browser. I'm going to scroll on down here, and we're just going to hit up uh, Altered Beast. We're going to click on the game we want to play. It's going to bring up this menu here. If we scroll down here, keys, we're going to use our arrow keys on our keyboard. Power on, number one. Kick attack, left control, punch left, left alt or option key, and punch right, space. So this will work on a Windows, Mac, or a Linux machine. I have tested this on my iMac using the Chrome browser and it works just as good. We're going to go up here. All we need to do is click to begin. It's going to download all the metadata, the ROM itself, the config file. Nothing is stored on your PC. This is all in the browser. And we can start playing. So I got to... Oh, I didn't even know I was already starting here. So as you can see, the games are pretty crappy, like they were back in the day. But like I said, I still think this is pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff you can mess around with here. There's a ton of different games. Ooh, sweet. Only one orb to go beast mode on this thing. So this is pretty cool. I'm just going to click escape. Well, if you were in full screen, you'd click escape. Go to full screen. You can play it like this. You can turn the sound off and we can go back and play a different game. Now the next section I want to show you is the console living room section. This is pretty awesome. Now there's a lot of stuff here, even PlayStation 1. Some Sega Genesis here. Um, let's go with something we don't see much of, or we don't see much of it emulated on like the Raspberry Pi or anything like that. We'll go with the Astrocade. Astro Videocade or Bali Videocade, Bali, however you want to pronounce it. We're going to go with Space Fortress. We're going to start the game. Now, like I said, most of these games will start by pressing one on your keyboard. So we're just going to enter the number of players, bases, intensity. And this is already set up actually for my Xbox 360 or my Xbox One controller. We can start playing this right here. Now, this game is very, very low resolution. If you didn't have your controller set up correctly, you can press tab. Now, we're going to go to a different game because this is very low res and you can't really see the menu. But it's just like a main menu. We're going to back out. Go to a different game. We'll go to Sega Genesis this time. I'll just do Golden Axe. We're going to start the game. I'm actually just going to go full screen with it. And I don't know why it's not going full screen for me. I guess it needs to start up all the way. Same thing. Press 1. My controller is already working here. Just press 1 to start, and I'll go through here. I'm using my analog stick, and I just used some magic, which I didn't want to, by pressing A on my Xbox controller. My analog stick is moving the character. B is my swing. X is my jump. And you will have to mess around with these controls. Um, some games just aren't going to be set up correctly. And like you saw, I pressed A and used my magic in the beginning. We'll go full screen with it.
it actually does a pretty good job with emulation. If you're stuck at work and you want to get your retro fix on, you could go ahead and load this up in a browser without downloading anything and play your favorite retro games. Just exit out of here, back up, and we could start another game if we want to. But right now, we're going to go with Oregon Trail Deluxe. using DOSBox here, right in the browser. Full screen. Use your mouse here. Travel to the trail. Go new game. And I'm just gonna get going here. I'll fast forward this a little bit. Here we go. We're traveling the Oregon Trail on archive.org inside of our browser. Coming up on a river, let's see if we can sync this thing. Hmm. Let's uh, attempt to ford the river. Oh yeah. Everybody's dead. So that's it for this video guys, I really appreciate you watching. I thought this was really cool and I know a lot of you guys might also. Like I mentioned, you could do this at work as long as you don't get into trouble. If you end up getting fired or something like that, don't blame me. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.